Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, this is a video on crafting writs, and right now I'm in Raid Rest Stormhaven, and I like this area just because of the proximity of all the crafting tables are pretty much right next to each other, so it's, it's pretty easy to craft everything right here. But uh, the reason why you want to do these writs and do them daily is because they give you a good amount of XP also they give you um, a good amount of little coin especially if you do them every day and so you go into your quest and go into your journal and you'll see them in your crafting and then it'll explain what you need to craft so for blacksmithing uh, right now uh, mine's level 50 master crafter so you're going to have to use the highest quality ore for your crafting writs. And if you don't have these materials, you could get them through a, a guild, a guild store. And they usually have these in stacks of 200. I'm not sure the prices. I think a stack would cost you around... It depends. I think for that ingot, it'd probably be around maybe four to five k. And then so my cloth, uh, doing clothing, and it's level fifty. So you're gonna get a master writ for this one, and it's ancestor silk. And this I think runs about eight k stack, which is two hundred. And you can also always collect these through PVE, just doing quests, and you'll see them on the. Yeah, like all all over Tamaril. So now I'm coming over to the woodworking and just checking to see. I have to do two resto staffs and a shield with Ruby Ash. And again, this is level 50, so. So it's always good to try to pick up material as you're going along in the game because it could get pretty pricey especially when you do this daily so then after completing all these um, you go into your journal and go to your quest and then it will show you the spot where you need to turn these in and Craglorn will be for master writs and as you can see it's all in one location for all three of them which is a good thing uh, you just f fast travel now to Craglorn. So now after you arrive, um, you just go from the Way Shrine, go straight, and then take a left. And then it'll be left. And it's these three crates right here. And so. I'm master crafter at these three crafting writs, but for the provisioning and enchanting and alchemy writs, I'm almost level 50, but not quite. So from Craglorn, you could just go right here in the center of this town, and you could see pull the um, crafting writs from here. And I like to do the provisioning first because the enchanting and alchemy writs are all in one location. So, and I wanted to show you what the difference is between master writs and writs that are lower than 50 and what you can receive from completing each one. And if you complete level 10 writs, um, you're going to have better drops for material. And for the provisioning for all these recipes, you could just get these from doing delves or a dungeon or just searching desks or bags, backpacks and uh, all over Tamaril. And since my provisioning is only like level 31, um, this is going to be a lot of green recipes, which 
are pretty easy to obtain. And you always could go to a guild a guild store and find these. And then so now uh, straight out of where we just did a provisioning writ, you just go straight down and here's the enchanting the enchanting table and the alchemy station. If you uh, have problems um, not knowing what to combine to make the certain glyph that you need, you can always just I always just Google it. It's just the fastest way, so that way you're not uh, using material that you don't need. And for your alchemy, I mean, you ever see cornflower or lady smock or ancestor silk? or not necessarily just for the potions um, always collect that because those could go for 300 just by for one and 300 gold per one I mean that adds up so it's not cheap to get these ingredients And then doing these writs are daily is a good thing just to help get your whatever it is, provisioning, enchantment, woodworking, blacksmithing. Um, they, they, they gain a lot of XP for, for uh, finishing these writs. So luckily my enchanting's up pretty high, so it was in Craglorn, which was nice. So if you're, I mean, obviously you probably know this, if you're level 10, are level 50 and create level 10 writs it's probably all going to be in Craglorn so if you just go to Craglorn and make everything then you won't have to worry about traveling to different areas of the map so we we'll go to Riven Spire to um, turn in my alchemist writ so it'll be in Shornhelm and it depends on what level you are so it's always good once you um, complete their writ to go back and look to where you need to um, turn in that writ at and you can do this all going back into your journal after you complete it and it will show you where you need to go So Stormhaven is where you need to, or well I needed to turn in my provisioning writ, and it's only like level 2, so but I like to travel outside of the city because it's easier to get to this, um, to turn in this crafting writ, instead of worrying about maybe running into people or just only needed to go like one straight direction. So now I'm just going to show you the differences between a level 10 writ and level 8, I think a level 8 and 2 and 3 writs. So you go into your inventory, go to your supplies, and this first one's a level 2 provisioning writ, which will usually give you a recipe. And now the alchemy level three writ, and it gave me lady smock and cornflower, which is good. So this is level eight, and I got a cuda, which is nice because you sell that for three point five to four k gold. 
So the X's are obviously level 10s. I didn't get much on that one. I uh, got a glass fragment um, motif, which could sell for an okay amount of gold. On this one, didn't get, get anything. But nothing on the last two. <laughs> so on this one, I got a woodworking writ, which she could sell for about 6k. So if you see people trying to sell these writs, like this one could be like sold for 7k, this is how they obtain these writs. Nothing on that one, and then nothing on this one. Um, nothing again. Now my inventory is full with these material shipments, so I'm just going to open these up so that way I can open up some more uh, space in my inventory. So I got a temp on this one, temporary alloy, which could sell for at least 7k a piece. So I got two of them, which is nice. So that's 14. Um, nothing on this one. Uh, I got another uh, right, right here. And so, yeah. So, I mean, I would definitely do these writs if you're not max level, or especially if you're max level, just to gain gold and all that. So, thanks for watching. Bye.